Hello guys, what's going on and welcome to a brand new episode where we're going to continue our Berwick Rangers campaign today. We've got two games to get through as per usual. Uh, we've got Peterhead at home and Clyde away. Now, a quick recap. Uh, so we've played a fair few games as you, as you can see since the last episode where we lost 2-1 to Montreux. So we're going to start at the top. That'll be the best thing to do, wouldn't it? Uh, we beat Annan by two goals to nil in the Scottish Cup second round. Fleming and Labour on the score sheet. Decent performance. And then we managed to pick up our league form by beating Calden Beef. Uh, three goals to one. Lavery, Morell and McKenna on the score sheet. And then we faced Annan again. And this time we beat them 4-1. Uh, own goal from there from Atkinson on their team. And Thompson, Wall and McKenna scoring the goals. And then we just drew 1-1 with Edinburgh City. Aaron Morell scoring. And then our Cup Dreams and Iron Brew quarterfinal is, is done. It's over. We lost to Clyde by one goal to nil. And uh, before drawing 2-2 with Elgin City, uh, McKenna and Brian Ross on the score sheet. But it's not at the end of the world when it comes to Cups. We just beat Keith by one goal to nil. And that sets us up for a fourth round tie away to Brecken. So, or Brecken rather. Brecken. Brecken. I'll get that right. And, uh, and as you can see, we just lost two, two games on the bounce. Sterling, we, we lost 3-2. Chapman and Lavery gave us a little bit of hope. Uh, getting two late goals, you know, hoping to push on the Steeler point, but it wasn't to be. And we just lost to Montrose again. One goal to nil. Uh, so it leaves us in seventh in the league on 18 points. So one win, or a couple of wins actually, it will see us right. We'll get back into the top four. But we better start picking up points soon because uh, I've got a feeling that these, that these, well, especially these two, are going to start drifting away from the rest. So we better pick it up a little bit. Uh, the squad itself, everything's all good. No injuries for a change. That's that's a surprise. Uh, wrong button. I keep doing that. Wrong tab again. We'll get there in a second. Here we are. So the team I'm going to gonna, gonna uh, go with, I made a couple of changes from the last two games that I played. We've got McCrory in goal. We've got Notman in for uh, Godinho because Godinho's just poor. We've got McDonald on the left. We've got Warren Fleming in defence. We've got Jamie Chapman in for Brian Ross. And we've got uh, Kieran Stewart in the Mazzala role in the centre midfield alongside Chapman. And obviously, it's the same trio in the attacking mids. Lavery, Thompson and McKenna. And it's and Aaron, I was going to say Andy. There's Aaron Morell uh, up front on his own. He's on nine goals this season. It's not a bad season for him. And uh, yes, so hopefully, we can take it to Peterhead today. Get three points. I'd be happy if we get at least one win out of this episode. So let's find out. Let's get right to it. Right, so both these teams come in inconsistent, uh, so it should be an interesting game. I think I'll just let the assistant do the team talk, because uh, whatever I say might might not even work. I'm supposed to be the manager as well. Uh, there we go. I'm a lot of I'm a lot of bit of time off now and then, but anyway, we're kicking things off. We want three points. Nothing less. Got to be three points. I won't be happy with a draw. So. I think our mentality is set to yes it is we're going attacking we're going to stick it right to them and hopefully now with a couple of changes that I made with Notman and Chapman coming in because Ross and Godinho not been doing it they've been playing pretty I wouldn't say too bad I think Godinho uh, he's slightly improved in, in, certain, in certain games but he did drop off again especially the last two games where we lost two games on the bounce so I've, I've took him out and put Notman back in and the same with Ross. I mean, Ross started off okay, and he sort of drifted off as well. It's a free kick. Can he fight Stewart? Can he... Not not bad. It was a decent strike. But yeah, so that, the changes had to be made. And we just hope now that ma making these changes will make a difference. But so far, it is not much to report. Not much highlights to be shown. We've only one shot and one shot on target. Uh, pretty much even on the possession, almost. And... Yes, yeah, so this episode, really, I should have done an episode uh, yesterday, but I just didn't like, I I just wasn't up to it. I was not up to it. I wasn't, I was tired, it was a long day at work, and I was grumpy, and I was talking gibberish, like, well, like I always do anyway, that's nothing new there. So I just felt I, I had, I couldn't, I could not release that episode. I had to, I had to start a new episode. I, I do apologise, but here we got Morel, as a decent, decent uh, chance. So yeah. I had to. I knew I had to do better than that. I can't. I don't want to release an episode where I'm just not feeling up to it. That's just, you're just not going to get 
well, in my opinion, you're not going to get a decent episode. So, feeling better today. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get... Oh, it's a goal, and uh, I'm not sure what happened there. But Morel has put us 1-0 up. That's his 10th goal of the season. Me talking too much, I've completely just sort of... Well, not taking notice of the goal. So, we'll have a look at the, the replay. It was a decent ball from Lavery. Yes, it was. Look at that. What's he doing? It's a bit... Uh, Bit of, bit of, it's a bit cheeky, I thought. But it's a decent finish, and Morel puts us 1-0 up. This good start. This is what we want. We want to keep keep attacking. So he's Thompson. He tries to find Lavery. I'll be happy we get another goal now. So he finds Morel. Morel score. Oh, I thought he's going to score. It's, uh, the one thing... I mean, I think the transfer window is open soon. So we'll be looking at, well, if possible, we'll be looking at uh, strikers, I think, to help. Because there's only Morales scoring the goals at the minute. There's, I don't, and there's, that's about it. It's where the goals are coming from. Let's so Stuart finds McKenna. McKenna, what a finish by Michael McKenna. And uh, we needed a performance from him because he was poor the last two games. Didn't really offer much at all, but that's much better. We're 2-0 up. Better than I thought. And again, it's a decent bit of play, decent finish. It's important now not to drop concentration. We've got to, got to keep going. So yeah, that's the reason for the late episode, uh, people. Um, just wasn't happy with my... Just wasn't happy the way things were going. I had to start again. There you go. So, But what I am pleased with is the way this game is going. And of course, I still like to hear your opinions on this uh, this fairly new series. Um, you know, are you enjoying it? Is there anything I can improve on? Anything? Just say anything you want. Uh, be, you know, don't be too harsh, but say whatever you like. But more importantly, just leave a comment, hit the like button, and keep keep following what we're doing. And uh, yes, so hopefully now. We're going in, 2-0 up. Marvellous. We're still, it leaves us fifth in, in the league. That's fine. That's good. Uh, we're just going to leave the assistant do the talk today. Just, I'm going to have a day off from team talks, I think. Because it seems to be working. He seems to be doing a good job. Right, that, that's uh, motivating the players. But can we keep a clean sheet? We want a good defensive display. It's a good clearance by Fleming. And Stenhouse Muir 3 0 down to Edinburgh. Oh wow, it's 3 0, but that was a that was a crazy sort of finish that was. And what on earth happened there? It was almost like the defender just smashed it at, at him. Yeah, it was. It was a it took a deflection of the defender and hit McKenna uh, McKenna, sorry, and went straight into the net. I'll take that, it's 3 0. I'll take that. It's a, it's a great performance. Uh, how are we doing though, performance wise? Everyone's having a good game. Every single player is having a good game. That's what I like to see. Makes it harder for me to, to take players off when everyone's playing well. Of course, we're going to have to do some changes shortly. Uh, okay, it's not ours. I thought it was one of ours getting injured there. A decent response at last. McKenna's having a great game. He's going to stay on. Chapman's all right, 6.8. I hate when it's, I do kind of hate when it's like this because I, I feel bad that whoever I take off because they're all playing well. We'll leave it. We'll leave it go, to the to at least to the late late stages of the game, and uh, that way I won't feel so bad. Fairly quiet for highlights, but it's a oh, it's a free kick, and Wall nearly scored. Was that Wall? Was it Fleming? Which one? I think I can't think it was Wall in the end. But it's a corner by McKenna. Wasn't a bad corner either. By right, Stewart, oh, he's free kick. I sense that there's a fourth goal coming. Oh, Thompson just goes for glory, but doesn't beat his first man. This is more like it. We can approach games like this. There's, there's see no reason why we can end this season in the top four. Gives us a chance to get promoted at least. We're still wondering. Oh, look at that! Montrose are actually two one down. That's a bit of a shocker. Given the season they're having, they're, they're sort of running away with it at the minute. Although I think Sterling are starting to catch up to them. Right, oh, I am. It's a free kick. Oh, he's unlucky. I thought that was going in. I thought it was going to be his hat trick. 
Right, okay, we're going to make more changes now. We're going to rest a couple of players. We'll take Morel, Morel off and give McGrath uh, a bit of a run. A bit of a run. It's like, it's like talking about a dog, isn't it? <laughs> Chapman. We'll take him off for Ross. But he doesn't like playing in that in that role, so we'll just leave him as a, as a centre midfield, shall we? There we go. And there we go. We'll, we'll leave it at that. It's job done. Three points in the bag. I can sleep easy tonight. <laughs> I'll sleep easy anyway, but... You know what I'm saying. Right. Can we get another goal? Let's... Fourth goal. Let's get a goal number four from somewhere. Let's send a message. Make a statement. Right. Calder B for drawing 1-1. One, one. Does that do... Yes, it does. That's right. It moves us into fourth. It's going to be a crazy... A crazy league. Right now. Because I can't see Montrose losing their top spot. I think they'll be there for the rest of the season. The rest of the teams... Maybe at the maybe from the exception of Sterling, perhaps, but the the but us, but the rest of us, well, we just gifted them that goal. That was just we just can't get away from defensive errors. We just can't get away from it. But as I was, as I was saying before, as for the rest of us, it's one win. Um, it changes everything. And once again, my phone is going off. I'm just gonna put it here. Going to ignore it. There we go. No one's going to disturb me anymore. And I'm very happy with that performance. It's going to be three points, but hopefully we can repeat this against. I forgot we're actually playing against. I think it's yeah, we're playing against Clyde. We are excellent. Marvelous performance. Can we repeat this against Clyde? Let's go straight to it. Okay, so here we are against Clyde. It's the same team as before, and the assistant's going to take the team talk. All we want right now, three points to try and distance ourselves, at least from Edinburgh. If they, get, if they can lose today, that'd be nice. And of course, Calvin Beath. But of course, it's all down to us to get get some get some points on the board. Good to see that Notman and McKenna have developed a good uh, partnership on that on that wing, on the on the left or sorry right. Can't I can't decide it on the right. Sorry, <laughs> they've developed a good. Partnership, so that's good to see. I think Notman is keeping his place for the rest of the season, to be honest with you. But Chapman, he's going to go find his lady. He's going to try and find Morel, but Morel gets the ball. Can he get any finish? He, oh, I thought that was going in. But well played, that man. That's a corner ball, decent ball by McKenna, who's on his ninth goal of the season. He's only one goal behind uh, Morel. And, uh, here he is again. So it wasn't a good ball this time. Just... But of course, Clyde are favourites to win, and they are. But they do come in here on poor form. So, oh, I thought that was going. It was a decent clearance. But I, yeah, so anyway, they're, they're favourites to beat us, but they are on poor form. So I don't, I don't know how they work that out, but it's up to us to take advantage of it. He just needs a good defensive display right now. We've been working on our defence in training, apparently. Oh, that was a good save because oh, it's, I think it's, uh, it's a free kick to it anyway, but it was a decent stop by the goalkeeper. It's been quite an active game for the first 10 minutes of it or so. We've pl plenty of highlights at least. We've only got one shot. Oh, it's, it's all, well, actually, it's all Clyde at the minute. Oh, it's a good save again. Well saved, McCrory. Right, come on, we've got to start getting something going here. You know, one, one shot on target the entire game so far. We need to step it up a little bit. Uh, maybe maybe we just get a message to them, encourage, just encourage them. Hopefully that will set things going, uh, set things in motion, as I say. Right, it's nothing happening at the moment. How are the players reacting? Uh, slow start for Morel, 6.5. McKenna's on 6.5. Defence is doing okay, actually. So that's uh, that is a positive. And Montrose have gone ahead now, 2 0 up. So that's going to distance themselves further, especially by beating uh, Sterling. But it's a free kick now. It's McKenna with a free kick. And oh, just over the bar. 
Right, we're approaching half time. Looks to be. Well, hang on, hang on. I won't speak too soon. Clyde on the attack. We dealt with it. Decent display, decent defensive display again. Can we make something up? Oh, it was almost a decent ball. But what I was going to say is, it looks like we're heading into half time nil nil. So, right. Defence, defence. Oh, the defence disappeared. We find some 1 0 down. And there's me thinking we can get a goal for half time. We'll go in at 0 0. But they go and score. Where was the defence? Left it completely unmarked. And we just, to be fair, we haven't really got going, have we? There was nothing much going on at all. I hope we can change that in the half time and come out with a different attitude. It doesn't help the fact that Edinburgh just taking the lead. So that 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 would probably mean that we're falling out. Yes, we have. We fought down to seventh. But that's just how crazy this league really is. <laughs> but we 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 managed to win this game. We'll, we'll go straight back up there. Right, it's half time. We've got to change the attitude here and get aggressive with them. Let's hope the revenge talk works for once. It doesn't usually work for me. Don't really have good fortunes against Clyde. We lost him in the cup, and now we're losing here. So I, I, I can't seem to figure out why we can't get anything past him. I think we did beat him earlier in the season. Yeah, I'm sure we did. Yeah, we did beat them. So we have beat them once. Just got to remember how to beat them again. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, well, well saved. Right, there's no on the bench that can change the game. I need, to, I need. This is where I need to act in the transfer. Well, transfers get get new signings in, so I can just you know, so I can change the game or add a bit more quality to this team. Any ideas? Any recommendations? Feel free to feel free to let me know. That's McKenna with a corner. Not a bad corner. A well played by Thompson. Oh, a good decent strike. A nice bit of skill there as well. What can we do here? Can we make a, any any changes? Is there any, let's let's have a look at this on the bench. Let's see what's going on. McKenna's on six point two. Uh, it's a bit of a poor game by his standard. Morel's on six point three. I'm not going to take McKenna off. I'm going to leave him on. What I may well do is change the striker. I mean, if that makes does not make any difference at all, really. Lavery's on 6.5. We'll, st we'll stick on a different striker. And we're going to stick on... We'll, we'll put Loudon on, actually. Loudon on for Lavery. He's complaining that he's not getting many games. Well, he's got, you've got a game now. It looks like it's going to be a stubborn... A stubborn performance by Clyde. It looks like they're going to hide... They're going to hold out. I was going to say, hold out at least... I wonder if we could change their. Uh, we get a good. Uh, no, nah, we'll leave. We won't, we won't do that just in case. Because <laughs> if I do that, they'll probably end up getting two or three passes. Come on, demand. We demand more from you. Uh, do you know what? You know what? We're just gonna. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong button. I keep doing that. We're just gonna hope that we're just gonna try and get something going here. We've been really terrible, haven't we? We just haven't got going at all. I think it's going to be a one-nil defeat. So that's going to be a, you know, it's a corner ball to them now. Fleming clears it, not not far enough. That's more like it. He gets him in now. We've got Thompson on the ball. Thompson get the ball in the box. He does. McGrath, Chapman strikes it. It was a nice strike, but it was not far wide. Well, that's probably the best move we've done the entire game, really. And now we're just now we're just smashing the ball at the field. Don't mess around in that area. We did this all the time. And, right, okay, decent ball. McGrath, it's oh bloody perfect tackle as well. <laughs> I was hoping it'll be like a free kick or something, but 
or penalty, but it was a decent challenge. Well, we're having a go now. Just to leave it this late in the game to do so. Let's not speak too soon. Oh, it... Oh, well. We're going to get nothing from this game. We've been terrible. We had a, a tiny, tiny spell um, beforehand. But it was a decent save, that. But it just... Again, defence sort of lets us down. We are going to lose this game. But it still leaves us in contention. We still... One game can change everything. So at least that's something to look forward to. To look forward to. Loudon just going to... Hold on, hang on. It's McKenna. Why do you... No, I suppose there's no one in the box. So we start this episode in 7th. We're going to finish this episode in 7th. <laughs> there you go, but... At least we managed to win a game. No, we're just we're just not trying anymore. We're just hoping for the best. But the game is over. Right, so with those two games, we won one, lost one. We're on twenty one points and we're back to seventh in the league. But it's still a lot to play for. We've just gotta try and be a bit more consistent, basically. Uh, next set of games, then we've got, we've got Stenos Muir and we've got Edinburgh. That's going to be a big game, considering where they are. Well, they're all big games now. Between now and the end of the season, it will be big games. Stenos Muir, Edinburgh. The, yeah, the, the, <laughs> there's no there's no game that's not going to be that we can that we can afford to lose right now. So it's all going on. It's going to be a, a tough, but a very interesting running. We're going to hope that we're going to get a break into our top four by the end of the season. We'll give it a damn good shot, that is for sure. And hopefully, uh, I might make some signings now. Look into some, just get hold of uh, a, a striker that I can... Well, I don't know where we need strikers. Uh, I would say more defence. Maybe someone in the midfield, perhaps, to, to improve. I, I, I don't know. That's something that I need to think about, really. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have... Uh, Hit the like button, leave a comment, but uh, more importantly, hit that subscribe button and then I'll see you guys on the very next episode. Take it easy. Bye for now.